future, talk radio will actually educate, inspire, and make you think. The future is now. Topics and music that affect your life from Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at ubnradio.com. Okay, buddy. We clear. Three, two, one. Welcome to Universal Broadcasting Network's Hit Afternoon Show, bringing you the latest in music news, artist interviews, and more with your hosts, Lauren Dare Owens, Ariel Fournier, and Adam Lusk. This is The Music Project. Hello, hello. Hey, everyone. It's Lauren Dare Owens. Ariel Fournier. And Adam Lusk. Right now, Good I Good job I just, for showing up on time, Adam. <laughs> What? I stop it! I was late once. I don't ridicule you when you were late. Gosh, but I've never been we late, always have so. to torture you. Yes, I don't. I resent that. Garrett has something to say. We're Garrett supposed has to get here thirty minutes before the show starts. Adam has been late once. Lauren's late every single day. Just gonna throw that out there. Ooh. My mental mi- middle finger is going up at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to point out that uh, we are actually in the order. Of when that when the our what's it called our oh our, the like, promo our yeah our promo always oh. goes Lauren Ariel Adam and normally we sit Lauren Adam Ariel see now we got Whoa. right so maybe we should just sit like this maybe, every time yeah Whoa, man. okay Whoa. Bro. switching things up here Whoa. at the music project what mind blown well we have a very fun guest on Yay. our show today who do we got Adam this is Hey Rocco right right yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. yes how so, you guys feeling. Pretty good, man. We're good. We're tired from the beach this morning, but... Do you guys go surfing today? Or just kick it? I kind of <laughs> skateboarded more than surfed. Oh. Where that do you guys go? go? Uh, we live near Venice, so we... Or we're Santa staying Monica. near Venice. But we don't have boards, because we <laughs> left them on the other side of the country. Yeah, so you guys are from <laughs> South Carolina, right? Yeah. Yes. So, how did you get to Los Angeles? What are you doing here? Tell us your story. We drove. <laughs> <laughs> it was long. Uh, well, we just came out to hang out for a while and write some new songs. Did you did you guys take a tour here, or are you guys specifically here for uh, songwriting in L.A.? Or mm, well, we had a tour that finished in Atlanta, so we were already kind of one leg of the way. So That's we came cool. to Nashville. One quarter. <laughs> yeah, well, however many legs it is. <laughs> so um, how did you guys all meet each other? We met in rehab, <laughs> <laughs> but like kind of like a juvenile version of it. Um, and then we started the band in Cool's Garage. Nice. Very cool. In Charleston. Like See, positive ago. things out of hard times. Exactly. That's good. Exactly. Awesome. Who's on your t-shirt? Oh, it's Cheryl Crow. Yeah. Shout Get out. Get it. She's playing bass, actually. It's awesome. Rod Stewart. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, yeah. I nice. like that one. Rod Stewart. Banties. Hell yeah. What do you want to know? Oh, he has. Heck yeah. Who do you have? Tommy. <laughs> this is, uh, the who? Wait. Tommy. <laughs> It's <laughs> 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 a good record. Well played, well played. So, so, yeah, so I noticed on your guys' Facebook page you have your your genre of music as uh, what is it? Disney grunge? Is that correct? It's actually now more rap rock than anything. Na- rap, rap rock. rock. <laughs> what is? Disney but yeah, well, let's talk about though. that. I want to. I like you guys have evolved to rap th- rock, but what? What you made is you think of that? <laughs> it's basically the progressions and the music is all very inviting. Yeah. And the tones are kind of distorted. So oh, that's like cool. Two worlds collide. And it's also like, I don't know, we grew up on Disney Channel and stuff like that that people didn't have a long time ago. Exactly. And grunge music yeah. at the same time. So I don't know. But it sort of represents this record we're about to put out. Um, and it's called Teenage Movie Soundtrack. That's so it's very, goes along with the such a idea good name. of the record. <laughs> um, but that's oh, just am I doing this? this record. And then I don't know what <laughs> we'll do after that. But yeah. So this one's very Disney grunge, I think. No. That's nice. See, that like makes you guys Wait, really unique. Speaking and, of Disney and people grunge, go like, what the heck? Have you guys heard the Mary Poppins metal thing that's been going around? No, no. I have oh. not. I, another thing. Have you heard Psychosocial Baby? No. Uh, do you guys like Slipknot? No. Of course. I know of <laughs> Slipknot. I used Slipknot's to make a big with comeback. My friend <laughs> yeah, Slipknot. I know, right? They're making yeah. a pretty big comeback. But you know that song, um, Psychosocial? 
there's like, I did my time and I won't <laughs> out. So abusive. And like, it's like, you know. Good no. impression. Anyway, um, it's you a pretty. You pulled it, off that. Thank one. you. Thank you. I tried real hard. Committed. <laughs> um, but it's a, it's a pretty heavy song. And they took the lyrics to that and then put it to the soundtrack of Baby by Justin Bieber. Oh, my God. And it, and it works. Like, it's it's, it's not that forced. It, it's baby. perfect. And like, the chorus comes at the same time. It's fantastic. <laughs> and it's so catchy. Like, it's like. Da, 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 and then right then the lyrics come in oh, I did my time and it's like oh my <laughs> no, god that's, no, that's insane Adam is, as, is it as catchy as five seconds of summer uh no <laughs> nothing <laughs> is <laughs> Adam, has an <laughs> Adam has an obsession with five seconds of summer can't tell five you why you guys know five seconds of summer no <laughs> Bruh, what? It's funny because I like like Bring Me the Horizon and like metalcore music, and then Five Seconds of Summer. So it's my like, cousin's what? computer backdrop was Bring Me the Horizon. For I just remember seeing that, and they looked very strange. But <laughs> they're they're pretty scary. They're pretty dudes. cool. I mean, I I get it. I I totally <laughs> had a lot of friends into that kind of scene and music. Yeah, that's that's what I'm like really into. So what type of um what type of artist would you guys say that you um relate yourselves to um or inspired by? Uh, I've really like Cheryl. Well, <laughs> Cheryl Crow. I mean, we like a lot of pop artists, but um, I've become really interested in Joe Frank's work lately. It's kind of like obscure recording techniques hmm. that I've only been introduced to here in Venice Beach. Now, I, I just have a question for our people, N not not you guys, but you guys. Mm -hmm. Our people. <laughs> Our people Whoa. in the studio. Whoa. Whoa. You know, don't don't Stop take that the plane. Don't take that <laughs> the wrong way, guys. Can I can I ask him about the recording techniques? I want to I want to know. That sounds awesome. Why what? would yeah, why go would for why, it. why wouldn't you? No, you cannot ask that. Aaron. But like right. Aaron. Yeah. Adam. <laughs> so, do you know the recording techniques cuz I'm actually going to college for this stuff, like recording and whatnot. Is that your major? I th Yeah. The um, only advice I'll leave you with is to not have any boundaries. I like recordings yes. that are just very not give a shit. Put a mic in the room wherever. Yeah, I it's think like a lot of time um, is wasted with. It's funny, like um, the science of it all, you know. Yeah, rather than the performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. That's what all my professors say. They're like, yeah, just do whatever works. There's no rules. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, uh, like the Beatles when they recorded the drums for um. Pretty much every album, they have one overhead mic and then a kick oh, drum mic. Yeah. It's trippy. And then yeah. then we have like recordings where every drum is <laughs> mic'd front and back. It's like, okay, you guys need to chill out. <laughs> that like, shit gives me a headache seeing Tanner's drums like that sometimes. <laughs> You're just like, like, just chill out, dude. Come on. I keep hitting this mic because it's so like in my. <laughs> in your face. You can move we used it. to hang our mic from the anyway. ceiling fan. Yeah, we recorded our first album with two mics, so. One we had a stand, and one was hanging from the ceiling fan. <laughs> oh, was that a live recording then? Ceiling so you guys fan. were all just going? Nice. Kind of. Well, the drums were going, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I think there might have been a guitar ceiling going. Fan was going. <laughs> ceiling fan. Did did you, you, okay, did you have the ceiling fan moving? We talked about it. No, with it the, was wrapped up. That'd with be, the that'd microphone be pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, like How cool would that be, though? <laughs> like, just... What what effect? That would be would, interesting. Like, a, Sounds like, like something you guys need to do. Do try it. Like le like a Leslie rotating speaker sound. <laughs> That's yeah, so that would be, be so cool. That would be cool. Man. Has California been providing some good inspiration for writing? Yes, absolutely. Tons. Definitely. A lot of our new music, a lot of stuff that we've been writing is very day to day kind of conversational songs, mm -hmm. especially since we've been here. Um, whereas. A lot of our earlier stuff was like epic <laughs> nine minute ballads. <laughs> nine minute ballads. Or what do you mean, Rush? Just our first demos. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Uh, what about the name? How'd you guys come up? What What's the meaning behind Hey Rocco? Any meaning? Well, Metallica was taken. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's sort of like Metallica. So we took Hey Rocco. <laughs> but like, how do you... Uh, did you guys have any? Do you like like Roscoe's chicken, chicken or waffles. like? You know. just had that for the first time the other night, actually. So good, right? What did you guys think? Oh my god, I, go. I, I missed out on the whole experience. He he was what? there, just not mentally. I wasn't. <laughs> I, think I, I don't even know. We if got I went you. Inside. We understand. Did you? Exhausted. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> did you guys have any um, <laughs> reject band names? You know, since Metallica was taken, you had to think of something new. Did you have any uh, band names that almost came to be? I freaked out and. Tried to change the band name to Cult Future like a few months ago, um, but the name originally well before 
that that was ever a thing. Hey, Rocco was Chris's pet turtle was Rocco. So Aww. that's kind of our other backstory. Although there was never a real turtle. You're not supposed <laughs> to bring that up, man. There was a bird <laughs> <laughs> that we got Chris for a Christmas present. You're not supposed to bring that up. <laughs> There's a dark story behind that. Yeah, like, it goes both. Know. You know, the question of where the band name come from is always <laughs> pretty worn out. So our answers have to bring it back to life. You know, it's kind of like whenever you have like a bad scar, you have to make up like a really bad story Dude, that's about like, it. That's like that's sure. like me. I told you. Uh, you guys don't know, but I told you guys I broke my elbow at one point, right? My, sure. My right. I wouldn't be surprised. Sure. <laughs> oh, do you want do you want what the happened? do you want the real story or you know what, actually <laughs> I'll I'll give you the. My story. Were you home alone? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was uh, snowboarding. Oh. Right? Uh-huh. And uh, I I had just started that day, and I started to be, I was like, dude, I'm so good at this. Right? And there was this rail on this side. Like, there was, like, the bunny slope over here and then the rail slope over here. Right? So I was like, sweet, dude, I'm going to hit this rail. Right? So I went off the rail, and I was, like, spinning on it, but, like, I wasn't meaning to. And I was just spinning. I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. And then I fell off, and, like, I totally crashed, and it broke my arm that way. Yeah, that's not really what happened, though. (laughs) Yeah. uh, I was standing in line for the ski lift. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and I uh, I hit an ice pocket and my board just went whoop and I tried to brace myself and pop my elbow out of place oh, and broke it. Yeah, my my mom recently broke her ankle getting off the ski lift to go Whoa! ski. Yay. Didn't get to ski at all. That. Just that brought sucks. right down the mountain. First first yeah. run. Yeah. What first fun step. Is that? Dude, you're right you're right there. Ninety <laughs> percent done and then just break your ankle. Skiing snowboarding accents accents are my favorite because I'm from Alaska, so I see a lot of them. Dude, you're from your favorite? <laughs> your favorite? Yeah. Well, they're the most interesting because they happen so randomly. Like you think you're fine and then something just happens. And my friend Spencer, um well my friend Scarlett, her brother Spencer went um snowboarding and apparently he fell. Nothing bad, probably expanded wrist or something, but they took him down on the mountain and put like a neck brace on and everything. So he sent a picture to his sister, said, hey, my phone's going to die. Send this to mom. So she oh sends my it to God, her mom. That's awful. She thinks he's like, has his, you know, his neck broken and everything. And she's like, what happened? He goes, I don't know. He just fell. And his phone died. So she assumed he was dead. But Ooh, that is, that is the that's the horrible thing to send to your mom. Sh- Mom's freak out Parents over everything. Assume. Oh, my God, Lauren. That's hilarious. It was very <laughs> hilarious. Well, why don't we play some? I don't know. He just Garrett, fell. What, we got? what song do we got, that, Garrett? No. Elsewhere. So, what is this? Um, what did you guys write this song about? Uh, bad parenting. Mm. Well, well, there you go. Relatable. All right, this is Elsewhere Teenage. by yeah. Hey Rocco. Stepping on my toes. I think it's clear that everybody knows. I don't believe in anything they say. I don't believe in anything they do. I just don't buy it. For just one hour, I'll have you back before your family's heads get sour. And if we don't like the kids, then we can go any else. Well, I just wanna make both those cheeks red. Cause that would make my cheeks red too. Clear that everybody knows I don't believe in anything they say I don't believe in anything they do Yeah. 
cheeks red too. Sweet. That's um. All right. That was elsewhere by Hey Rocket. You probably get this a lot, but that's very Coachella. <laughs> On the way here, actually, we were saying they should move Coachella to Costa Mesa. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Coachella, dude. <laughs> where, just for the sake of Coachella, where, man. Can, where we, can we just talk about the fact that ACDC is headlining Coachella this what? year? What? What is your guys' dream venue or performance festival that well, you would love to play it. at? Sorry, um, <laughs> Sorry, I messed you up. <laughs> I really have been wanting to play The Gorge in Washington, where... Um, you know that one festival is. <laughs> How specific? Mountain. Uh, Sasquatch? So yeah, Sasquatch, Sasquatch. I don't think I know that. It's pretty cool. It's outside. What um, type of bands play it? Coachella it. bands? Uh, more probably hippie bands than <laughs> Coachella <laughs> bands. Coachella is like a yeah, fashion cool. show. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys, you guys have seen the segment though. I think it was Jimmy Kimmel where they went around and like made fake bands that oh, were at Coachella. Oh, yeah. They're like, what would oh, you yeah. guys think of the Hillary Clintons? That's great. Oh, oh yeah, and that people are great. totally like, yeah, we loved them. Oh yeah, they were great. <laughs> they're so, <laughs> so new good. and up and coming. It was a great place to start. <laughs> great if you're sound. Naming your band. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were really good band names. Right, but you guys are getting ready to play South by Southwest. Yes. Yes. Correct. Awesome. That's How really exciting. I want to play, I'm very excited. Play that. We've always wanted to go, but never really made it happen. So, so this is your first time playing there? Yes. Very yeah. cool. And I think we're doing it right. Like, if we had gone before, we would have played. There's a lot of, like, unofficial shows, but we mm-hmm. have a couple of official shows. It should unofficial. be really fun. Awesome. <laughs> I love the thing. The reason I love South by Southwest is it's so diverse. Like there are so many different genres of music, from rap to singer songwriter to. Is it true that South by Southwest is more than just music, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's like it's like interactive film. Yeah, stuff. yeah. That's what I. That's what I thought. Cause I, like I was under the impression that it was like there's one like a like a three day massive music festival no, where it's hundreds like of bands. A bunch play. of bars all over the place and venues yeah. all over the place. Like there's the Spotify House and a bunch of different places. Okay. Um, so that that was my. Yeah. That I was think my the week up. leading up to it is the film festival too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 like Austin City Limits, that's just a music festival, right? Mm. Yeah, I believe that's just so. a music festival. Yeah. It's like Lala. I think so. <laughs> yeah. It's the same okay. Company. That's cool. Mm-hmm. That's cool. That's cool. Mm-hmm. All right. Great. Cool. Cool. Shop. All right. Now I'm down three questions, but I will come up with them while we were answering. I'm, I'm passing off my segment this week to um, to me to Adam because I just. I don't know. I had a feeling he would handle this better than I would. Well, but like these last these last three questions, I'm trying like these these ones up here. You know, I'll just introduce it. You know, <laughs> okay. Here's what this game just is. Go right into it, man. Don't yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Don't All right. Nervous, man. If it just sucks, we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> they'll tell you. They'll be straight up with you. All right. Here's what it is. We'll awkwardly so look at you. <laughs> You'd be like, bro, really? I guess. <laughs> All right. This segment is called "How Well Do You Know Your Bandmate?" Way too and well. since you guys are in a band, this one's gonna suck for us. Guys. Woo. <laughs> It's okay. So We've we had brother sister duos in here who don't know anything. Oh, and so, all right. You know, what? we had two sisters. They're like, we know each other so well, and then they. they and this is where wrong. this is where dirt comes out too. Is it how well do this we know the band, or how well do you how guys? Well you no, guys you guys know, know each, each other. other. Oh, we know each other. <laughs> let's okay. let's put it to the test. We'll we'll figure this out. We'll see. All right. Break so it down now, Adam. Nate. Yo. What is the most embarrassing thing Chris has done, ever, ever? A long while ago. Oh, he's already got an answer for it. <laughs> Think about he it. Knows. My favorite Chris embarrassing story. <laughs> oh, you have many then. <laughs> no, I mean, well, one time we were in North Carolina skating with these really cool people in this really cool neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And Chris H. mega shit at the bottom of a hill. <laughs> 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 and it just, the whole day was over. We like went inside and. In front of the babes, too. Oh. It was so in front of these beautiful have you girls. Seen, have you seen that picture on the internet of this guy doing an endo on a bike and he's like <laughs> upside down and there's all these chicks like on the lawn in like bikinis? It's like worst thing that possibly could have happened. We call that a cool man to geek. Yeah, cool, cool. man to cool man to geek moment. You guys got a name for it? <laughs> I'm hanging out with you guys. Got names for everything. That's just Adam Daly. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Is your real name Adam Daly? No. <laughs> no, that'd be cool oh, though, wouldn't it? That's a cool it? name, yeah. Adam Daly. Adam Daly. <laughs> Garrett just said that implies that you're cool in you're the first place. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it out now. It's my stage name. It's my stage name now. Adam Daly. Adam Daly. Okay. Or the next. Wait. So is that the most embarrassing moment for Chris? Wait. We're, that was. He only gets yeah. one shot. <laughs> we don't. We don't yeah, discuss yeah, that's, this. That's, that's <laughs> like, discussion let's move on, about guys. My embarrassing. All right. Next yeah. question, Adam. All right, Chris. What uh, is Tanner's favorite chick flick? 
Uh, Favorite chick clip? Oh, oh that's easy. <laughs> the Notebook. It was filmed <laughs> he nailed in. It. Uh, it was filmed in Charleston, our hometown. Yeah. So Aww, it's, it's close sweet. to all. I of love our Rachel hearts, McAdams. I've seen him cry many I love a night. Ryan Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> Guy many, many a night he has <laughs> cried. Romance. Wait, what's the rest of your favorite chick flicks though? I actually want to know this answer. I share the same love with 13 going on 30 as my father. Yes. That's honestly a freaking good <laughs> movie. <It's great. laughs> That's, yes. a good, That's a good movie. That's a movie that you like spend the night at your friend's house and all of a sudden it's on and you start watching it. It's You're like, like, oh, like well, dude, let's watch this because it's, it's only lame. Five and then in. you both start crying. It's You're like, oh, this is it's so five minutes in. We my, should just watch like, it. We're sitting in play. Yeah. Dude, my friend is such a big fan of Coldplay. It's not even funny. Okay. It's sort of funny. Next question, Adam. <laughs> well, what, what's Wait. your favorite chick flick? I, I gotta go with the classic. I would do Titanic. You know, <laughs> <laughs> if I can, if I can do the nice. four hours. Nice. I'd That's the it. first movie Every I cried time. on. That's really? what I cried on it because people people died. Like you know, a lot of people died. <laughs> That's why I cried. Not because of the, I don't ever Not cry. because of the Lord. No, I never story. cry when people die in movies. But I, I just I just think it's sad died. how Jack let go. Like no, he man. said he wouldn't let go, and Jack but then, let go. Then Yo, in, in cut him some slack. That <laughs> yeah. was a rough yeah, situation. <laughs> <laughs> but then in Inception, he washes up on the beach. Did that? Did Jack ever really die? Or did he just turn into the guy from Great Gatsby? Whoa! Whoa! He did live on a dock. Still awardless. He just, yeah, right. <laughs> I saw this. I saw this thing today. It was no. like a Pokemon card, and it was uh, Leon- Leonardo DiCaprio and his uh, special powers giving other actors Oscars. Yeah. <laughs> He's great at introducing. I don't like those. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a really good actor. Oh. There's no need to. Yeah, there's plenty of TV great actors who much, don't even have Oscars. Johnny Depp. <coughs> yeah. All right, moving on. No awards, Johnny Depp. Really? No, no, none. All right, Tanner. Let's see, what <laughs> is Nate's favorite fast food? This one's an easy one. Ooh, well, uh, he's he's been known to fancy Arby's, but Taco Bell probably. Taco Bell's delicious. Arby's is good too. Yeah, those are both up there. He and yeah. McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> those are my highest stats for 2013. Yeah, those for are 13. those are like the guilty those pleasures. The, well, no, not even my guilty pleasures, but like we just got so burnt out. But the fast food changes as you keep going. You know, mm-hmm. here there's like, in and out. Like in and out to us is F- unheard of. It's amazing. We only get it one time. Ever. Yeah, like it's it's funny enough for Californians or for yeah Californians. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a saying that's just when in doubt, in and out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Have you guys ever had cookout? Is that out here? No, no, no. never. Heard. That's kind of like when I went to te- that's like when I went to it's Texas it's and everyone was talking about Whataburger. Yeah, was Whataburger. Like, What's that? Oh <laughs> never yeah, heard of that. <laughs> My uh, my girlfriend lives in San Antonio. She goes to school there, and yeah. she was like, "Let's go to." She's like, "You can go anywhere but Whataburger," and I was like, "Let's go to Whataburger, <laughs> man! I've never had that. It sounds awesome, and apparently it's terrible." <laughs> they wear it's funny just a hats. lot of food. <laughs> they wear funny hats. They make them wear funny hats in and out too, though. Yeah. Whatever. It's. I think it's a it, sign of. I brittle-ish. just found out what animal fries were. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? For the yeah. first time? Yeah, because they're not on the menu. It's yeah, totally secret deceiving. menu. Yeah. Dude, did you know there's like a secret menu for like every fast food place? I know. Jamba Juice has a secret menu. In and Out has, has a secret menu. big secret menu. Starbucks has like, a secret menu. My favorite thing off the secret menu uh, for In and Out go, go to In and Out and order a Flying Dutchman. <laughs> and that is, <laughs> that is a patty, cheese, patty, cheese done. No bun. no bun. No no bun, no, no lettuce, bun. no anything. <laughs> patty cheese, Meat patty cheese. cheese. That's all it is. <laughs> you know that really doesn't sound too That's appetizing. The most South Carolina <laughs> shit I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then they have a uh, what's the other they, they have a vegan burger or something like that which really? is just that bun. In-N-Out? Yeah, yeah. Or vegetarian. That don't sound right. <laughs> you want to know what it is? It's like a Piece giant middle finger. No, it's <laughs> bun, lettuce, bun. <laughs> Done. That's awful. That's it, and it's <laughs> terrible. Why would you I doubt their buns are Get it with a wheatgrass shot to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is there anything else that um, out here in California that's different from back in South Carolina besides In and Out? Spanish culture. Just tons of Spanish. We, like we pretty much, better. yeah, we just pretty much have like rednecks back home. <laughs> and if you replaced all the rednecks, whoa, with now there are good people back home. <laughs> good people, rednecks can be good people. Well, Charleston <laughs> itself is just this beautiful oasis, and yeah, then the you know state. a lot of the surrounding area, surrounded by rural South Carolina, is very exactly yeah. yeah if, you know, fifty miles in any direction from here is yeah. probably beauty and money, and South mm-hmm. Carolina is dirt and. I have a friend who lives in North Cook Carolina, out. and I went and <laughs> yeah, visited yeah. him. I'm like, hey, so you know, what do people like to do for fun around here? And his mom was like, well, the kids walk down to the Circle K, and they 
Yeah. Put quarters they, on the train tracks. <laughs> they um, they get slushies and that's about it. And like, they walk back. Okay. Check the quarters. <laughs> Find one out of ten probably. So then you're <laughs> set back that week's allowance. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do in the Carolinas. Sounds like a ball of fun. A ball of fun. Oh, it's a big ball of fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to move on. Yeah. We're going to move on. All right. I think this is Nate's question okay. now. Okay. What is Chris's favorite TV show? Um, he was watching a lot of Archer over the holidays, mm-hmm. I think, when I came over there, which I like that show, too. <coughs> um, but, I don't know. Let me think here. We watch a lot of Always Sunny. <laughs> and we watch a lot of Workaholics. And that, <laughs> that show's also And Chris hilarious. is, like, the most tech-savvy, so he's probably got the remote, so he's probably setting those up, which is okay with the band. So, final answer... Always sunny in Philadelphia. I would, I would say that was a safe, always sunny. That was a safe answer. Which we watched yeah. in Philadelphia just the other day. Yeah. Wow. Better that question. Cool. What is your binge worthy, like, horrible reality show that everyone has their oh, one reality party show? Down Thank down you. Party, party down, 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 down south. south. Yeah, Party Down <laughs> South. <laughs> CMT. Oh, what, what is the show? What is Party out. Down South? It's Party Down it's South. That's what it's called. Freaking hilarious. It's a CMT sensation. Sensation. Yeah, yeah, it's on like the third season. They keep getting renewed. <laughs> Same yeah. cast. It was originally shot in Myrtle Beach. Is it kind of like, like the Jersey Shore of playing. like down south? Yeah, totally. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. It's it's incredible. Uh, but, like we very Shakespearean. School. Yeah. <laughs> very, there's a lot of Freudian stuff it's in there. Very too. intellectual. <laughs> really? Though, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. deep. One of the characters is Diddy. Diddy. Yeah. Uh, Diddy. Diddy. Daddy. There's a constant Diddy. power He's a struggle. Yeah. He's a legend. We won't bring up Daddy, but he's a legend. He's a legend. <laughs> Shout, Shout out to Daddy. <laughs> Shout outs to f- Daddy. Yeah, I'm trying to get that tweet back, man. If he ever wants retweet. to, Daddy, if you ever want to tour manage the spandu, we'll go hashtag Daddy Hard every <laughs> night, bro. <laughs> bro, that dude loves the party. <laughs> dude is pulling country music television out of the water. <laughs> Okay, I'll have to check this Great out. Great show. <laughs> you guys seem pretty hyped about this show. <laughs> we just don't ever get to watch TV. We listen to so much music. We play music. I mean, we love music, but sometimes you just sit down. You're like, I just need to chill. And, and like not play a show and stay and at someone's house and have them put on Party Down South and hand you a beer. Is, that is like the greatest <laughs> moment of... Of the day. Of the day. Yeah. Of the day. We got All the right. last question, Adam. No, I have... A, I have Five more. Go. Well, speed round. Quick uh, we speed, round. We're speed, round. speed round. Speed round. All right. Chris, what is Tanner's most embarrassing song on his iPod? That was your uh, question, That's Lauren. my favorite question of all time. Katy Perry, Roar. Ooh. <laughs> nice. I don't have an iPod. This, <laughs> that's true. Well. This music is a question library. for all of you. What is your guilty pleasure song? In your or music artist? library, CD, etc. Sugar Ray. Not a guilty pleasure. Sugar Ray rocks. Keep yeah. going. <laughs> I don't think they're guilty pleasures. They're just pleasures. Uh, okay. There's no guilty no, pleasures. No notebook soundtrack? Here, here's. Ooh, I'll get down Yeah, on she's some got. My heart will what go is it? The, cool. the Broadway version of Spider Man. I have George of the Jungles. Like, <laughs> Spider Man That's turn great. Off the Both of those are fantastic. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Tanner, what is Nate's guilty pleasure? And this is just like anything this could be you guys are digging deep here with these guilty <laughs> pleasures of the band <laughs> right, no. i don't know now I, now i feel guilty if i say anything's guilty pleasure um <laughs> they're all pleasures first uh, of all there's there's, no there's, there's a couple guilty ones there's a there's few. a couple guilty ones uh like he, something he really likes beef jerky yum or like no or guilt. what's not beef jerky, not like a guilty slim pleasure. gyms like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like slim Let's gyms specify and the quality do you have a, do you have a specific way of eating slim gyms <laughs> instantaneously, <laughs> just, instantaneously just inhale them uh, before I even walk out of the gas station <laughs> before I even get to the counter most times <laughs> you're like I gotta I pay for this wrapper <laughs> alright these, the, these are the speed rounds okay. Nate what is Chris's biggest show mess up biggest show mess up <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is it wasn't with this band it wasn't with this band it was with this band called I'll Get Out that's from South Carolina awesome hot rock band we got to play with the um in Austin, singer, actually. singer got really pissed because Chris was very exhausted during the set and uh, he messed up like the big moment. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was great. Nice. The rest of the tour was very. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was good. <laughs> All right, Chris, what is Tanner's biggest thirsty moment? You know what thirsty means, right? <laughs> no, specify thirsty. We thirsty. When, when you're thirsty for something, is like. Every like, no, no, elaborate. Give me hit, attention. Like, hitting, I need you to. Yeah, like, anytime he drinks me. whiskey. <laughs> I don't know. Like, but, like, you're like, night. look at me moment. I need attention right now from girls, anybody. I don't really care. Whiskey. Just attention. Think, like, 12 year old girls. Definitely on the last two weeks in Venice Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much every night on whiskey. <laughs> Yeah. He got, he got, well, I said the last two weeks, though. He got his attention. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, keep going. All right, final one. Tanner. Let's see. What is Nate's biggest what moment? And by like that's like just like where you, where you he does something and you think what? <laughs> Good what? description. What I the asked heck? to borrow Tanner's deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that's not that bad. Like, if you were like asked to borrow his underwear, that'd be pretty like what? But like <laughs> what? Um, you got hey, it. What? Well, the whole he, uh, what was the asking part. I mean, uh, just, yeah. I don't know. He uh, he smashed his guitar one night, and I uh, we had talked about, it, but I didn't think he was actually <laughs> gonna do it. And then I just looked up, and he was like, kind of on the ground smashing it. So that was cool. Did you I have a like, backup guitar? What? No, man, I missed that. <laughs> didn't guitar think last. that through. No, it was the last show. Of the it was tour, like our so last show. And oh, okay. It was it was breaking. It anyway, was breaking, and I needed I a guitar case to, to put other things in it to fly back with us. So I just kind of like I, even, I ended up bringing the guitar anyway, but it's pretty over four, so. Gone. Well, worth it or no? Yeah, whatever. I mean, <laughs> <All right. laughs> we're gonna play a song and All get right, them cool. ready to play live. Um, Garrett, what song did you select for us? Waterloo Sunset by the Kinks. Acceptable. <laughs> Are back with Hey Rocco and they're about to perform, perform live for us. I just want to say that was a very fitting song. Yeah. Good job, Garrett. Good, good song. Round of applause Garrett. for Garrett. All right, man. So what song this are you is going to perform? Your original stuff um, for your band. You guys play this like full on electric and whatnot. Yeah, I'm gonna play Mom Jeans, which is <laughs> on our record. And it's Mom Jeans. Mom Jeans. Yeah. Nice. It's it about Mom besides Mom, Mom Jeans. jeans. Um, it's more just about a young love. Oh, that's cool. A uh, young, struggling relationship. 
um, Mom Jean just kind of became the, the hook. Cool. Um, yeah, let's go. All right, let's hear it. I dug that song. Hey, gross. I dig that a lot, man. You were, were you digging it? I was digging that. <laughs> Damn it. Thanks, man. I'll play another quick one if I have time. Yeah, yeah. do it. We've got okay. time for about one more. Cool. This is a quick one. We wrote it here in California. Yeah. In, on Venice Beach. Aww. Well, in Venice Beach. <laughs> it's called Grind. Talking to the neighbors, they can't do me no favors. Just stay old vanilla wafers, three months old. Skate down to the corner, palms and sentinella. Where my Spanish Cinderella? Yeah, I swear I'm 25. And I don't know what it is today, but I'm doing all right. Say that you just passed me. Me gusta. <laughs> Spanish for. I like. <laughs> the, mu- like the music. 
do you like? I like the music a lot. Gracias. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, a no, lot. thank you, man. Thanks for having us in. Yeah, thank no, you guys thank for you coming guys on. Coming and, on. Um, before we let you guys go, can you um, give us your shows? You wow. got it. Social I media. Uh, <laughs> Social media. Um, so people know where to find you. Yes. <laughs> yes. We do have social media. What hot? And that is a hot topic right now <laughs> in the youth culture. <laughs> and we have an Instagram at who is hey Rocco. Our Twitter is the same. Uh, we have a website. We have records up for sale at all our shows, but there's only limited stuff online. But it's all out there yeah. if you really dig. So I, is anything on think iTunes? Think outside the box. We do have some songs on iTunes. Is that song on iTunes? That song is on iTunes. We just are recording it. Oh, you haven't even recorded it this week. Wow. We got a special um, preview. Oh, I need you got a special you. preview, but we made a music video with. Mm-hmm. Dave Markey, guy around town. He's done a lot of cool stuff. And um, do you guys have any upcoming shows? We do. We're going to be in Austin, Texas for South By. So we have three, right. three there. Then we're playing Chicago at the end of the month with a few shows in Kentucky and Cincinnati. And then we're going to go back home for a little bit and mm-hmm. play our home record store for Record Store Day. I think Sweet. Gallon, don't hold me to that if it's not confirmed. Mm-hmm. If for some reason he heard this. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, we'll be there. So we'll be in Charleston. So all these shows are on your website, right? Most of them. Most yes. of them. Okay, so people can go find them at your website. Yes. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank cool. you guys so much for coming hey, on and hanging you. out with Thanks us. For us. Um, I'm Lauren Dare Owens. <laughs> I'm Ariel Fournier. And I'm Adam Lusk. And this has been the Music Project. <laughs> See ya. Now that you found UBN Radio and discovered our quality.